Now imagine you had a PowerPoint template that does it all. It takes your slides and make them look professional in just seconds. Now, not in the way that you're used to, because most PowerPoint templates, they sort of break down when you start to use them. They look awesome in the preview, but that means you open them and you start to customize them. You notice that the branding is very hard to change. The color palette is not very practical to change or you just can't add your slides from another deck into that new slide and everything starts to fall apart as soon as you start using them. And the result is that you have a template that you buy and you use it maybe once or only for a few items and then you never use it again. And that is why we're going to look at the seven reasons why this template might be a must have for you. Let's start with number one, which is an easy drag and drop system. And this is probably the easiest thing that you could have in a template because it's set up in such a way that the image placeholders, they make sense. You can just drag in multiple images at a time and they automatically fill in. You see how this is done in seconds? And then you can just overwrite it with the name, for example, Jonathan Smith, and then the explanation if you want. You can change it, you can add whatever you want, but it's super easy to create a deck like this. And you just have to use the drag and drop system and it applies all of your images in just seconds. Now let's say we just went for the two instead. So what we could have done is we added two images, we just drag them to the slide. And then once you have this, you realize like, ah, I should have made three instead. What you can do is you can just go to the slide layout, change it to three images, and everything sticks to the same formatting, adjust accordingly. And once you now drag in the other picture, boom, it's there and you can start typing your content. Now, if you realize like I should have made four instead, you can still do that and go for the four images. So it's very easy to shift back and forth between those different layouts and really create easy presentations for you in seconds. And that brings us to number two, which is a solid slide master. Now this is a foundation that you need to have. Now a slide master consists of two parts. We have usually the theme and we have the slide layouts. Let's start with the slide layout first so I can show you a little bit the thought process and how you can use this. Now to show you really how it works is I'll go to a blank deck first. And here we take one of the slide layouts, for example here, and we can say add your title here in this box. Then we add some content, we add it to the slide, and maybe we also add an image just to fill it in. Now this is a slide that you regularly see. There's not too much special about it, so it's not very formatted. So we're going to copy this one and jump back into the presentation. And here we're going to paste in the slide, but now you can just choose one of the layouts so it nicely matches and instantly formats to that topic. Do you prefer the dark layout? Sure. And everything changes the background color, the font color, everything is nicely set into place so you can easily jump and navigate in between those slide layouts. And that is what you need in a solid slide master. The same goes for a title. So let's say you add your title here in this box and I just add a subtitle. Now we do exactly the same. So we copy it from this slide from any deck that you have and let's paste it in here, control V and you just change the layout to the title layout and it's done. You can just add your image here as well, drop it in and your slide is ready. Now maybe you want to change this to the dark version and there you have it. You have two slides that come from an easy version in PowerPoint, like just type it in, drag it in, change the layout and it's done. That's what you need. That's how a slide layout should work. Now that brings us to the third part, which is the branding. And that is a part of the slide master that is super important. We have the layouts, the structure of the slides, but we also have the colors. So you need to change it to your own colors and fonts. And I'll show you exactly how to do that in one click. And it's pretty amazing. So here we see the overview of some of the slides that you have. So you see, it's a nice color palette. It's a nice blue color palette. Now let's say your brand isn't blue, but you want to go for, let's say red. We go to the design tab, we go to variants, and then if we just select the other palette, and for example, here we come from blue, we click on edit, and let's say we make this blue just this one color, we make this red or whatever color that you have for your brand, and we give the name bold, bright, red, and everything changes. So you see the overview of the entire deck, all of the elements, all of the accents are changed, which it makes it pretty fantastic to work with. So you can click on any slide, for example here, and you see all of the keywords, all of the elements in the background have changed. Also that subtle gradient in the background is now changed. So that makes it pretty easy to change. You can change it to any color that you like. Maybe you prefer to have a green deck, that is all perfectly possible. So you see how easily it changes and how easy it is to customize it to your own brand. Now colors are only one part of the brand. You also want to change the fonts and that is also very easy in just one simple click. So if we go to the view and slide master tab, 
Here we have the colors and the fonts. We've seen the colors. Now let's have a look at the fonts. And for example, instead of Montserrat, we want to use Poppins, Close, and the entire slide deck has been changed to Poppins. So by using the body and the header text exactly and matching it all in this template, you can easily change it. Now maybe to show you an example of a little bit more of an extreme since Poppins and um, Montserrat is pretty close to each other. Let's try with, for example, Garamond. So you can see everything in this deck has been changed to that serif font, which is quite cool. So that is how easily you can change it in just one simple click for the entire deck. So you don't have to worry about anything. Everything has been tagged with the text, body and the header correctly in the entire deck. And that brings us to the next point, which is the Copilot compatibility. Now, Microsoft has mentioned that you should name your slide layouts in a way that Copilot sort of recognizes what you have on one slide and what you want to achieve in the template. So that's what I've done. And let's have a look at how it works. So here we can see that the layouts have been named. So with the tile slide, section header to content comparison. Now, if we ask Copilot to create a slide, let's make a slide about the importance of slide design. And we just press enter. So it will now come up with a basic version. And by basic version, that means usually there's text in the slide and there is some image on the slide, which it has done now. And you can see it's using one of the templates to content, but you can easily change it because this layout, I would say it would fit better with that title on the left side and that nicely rounded cornered image here on the right side. So we're going to match that with, for example, picture with caption. And you see how that nicely fits. Now, of course, this is an image that you don't want, but if you just click it, it keeps that placeholder in place. And that's what we want because we want that flexibility to really add our own slides to it. For example, we have an image here, we just drag it in and you see how it fills in and keeps all that content from Copilot and makes it pretty easy. Also the notes, they have been added because Copilot just recognizes what is happening on the slide. Now you can just use everything to auto rewrite or maybe condense it and then it's working on it and it will give a more condensed version if that's what you want. And then you can just choose if you want to have some keyword in that color and that instantly matches what you need with your brand. Now, if we go here, and we change the slide layout to that red, for example, we can just choose red and everything changes as we need it. So you see that it stays correct also with the new slides from Copilot that it has generated. Now, next I want to show you how it not only works for these nicely designed slides, but also for text heavy slides, because that's just a reality. Sometimes we need text heavy content and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So here you can see if I add a new slide with title and content, you can just, just add your title and then maybe for the content, you want to add multiple lines of text and you want to add some shift in between a few bullet points and go back. So you can see how you can just add your content like it's a very text heavy slide that you want to use on your presentation, but still the entire layout feels correct. So if you want to change the layout to maybe two content, well, you can easily change that and it will automatically adjust. Also, if you want to have it in a different form, that is all possible. So that is very important that you have a layout that you can easily match and morph. So also for these text heavy slides, you want to be able to use them in a flexible way. And that is what this template really provides you. So you can take it for any type of content, the ones that have been nicely designed that you have the templates for, or you can go from a standard version and really build it up yourself with text heavy content. So I wanted to give you that option as well. Same goes with the charts. So all of them have been added and edited with Excel. So you can edit the data in Excel and just change the numbers. Now, the cool thing about using those slide layouts in a way is that let's say we don't need that full version. So we don't want the full slide, but we want to give some explanation to it. Well, you just change the layout to a more suitable one. So the chart automatically snaps to the smaller part and you can give your bullet points. Like you can say reason for growth. You can say second reason here and maybe third reason with some longer text and I'll go overboard. So it jumps to the next line. So I want to be able to really or provide you the option to add a lot of content and a lot of text to the slide and it still doesn't mess up with the layout. So you see this layout works if you want to go for two content that still works. So you can always just adjust it slightly depending on the needs that you want. So that's why I want to show you the multiple use cases of this template. And that is important, I think, because we don't want a one-off project. We want to build a solid slide master here. 
And then as a last point, I want to show you that I've created hundreds of different slides, a little bit of a demo slides built on this template. So you can use this template and really add your slides to it. You can pick and choose the existing ones or you can create your own. So I want to make it as flexible as possible. So if you see a design that fits your brand or almost fits your brand, just take it and change the content, add whatever you want, change whatever you want, and you can really create a slide deck in no time. So now we've seen all the benefits of using a template like this, and you see the importance of a solid slide master. Now that is the important thing because I want you to have a template that you can use multiple times. You don't just use it once and then forget about it or for one project. This is a premium template that you use multiple times. So if you really want to save time and build professional presentations, this is a template that you must have absolutely. Now for the people who are early, there's currently a pre-order available. So the template will be available end of this month. And the people who order it right now get 50% off. It's a deal of a lifetime. So check the link in the description below if you want this.